The casing head is screwed or welded to the outermost casing stub. The inside of the casing head provides a sealing surface for the casing hanger, which grips the hanging casing and seals off the annulus between the outer and inner casing strings. Casing spools allow for additional casing strings to be hung and sealed off above the casing head, one spool for each string. The tubing head performs a function similar to the casing head in that it accommodates a tubing hanger, which usually screws onto the top of the tubing string or strings and seals off the tubing casing annulus with metal-to-metal -metal and or rubber sealing elements. An adapter or bonnet provides a transition from the tubing head to the arrangement of valves and fittings located above the casing and tubing head, which are used to control flow. The equipment above the tubing head is referred to as the Christmas tree. The bottom valve, often called the master valve, is the primary means for completely shutting in the well. A T-type fitting allows for redirection of the vertical flow stream to a horizontal flow line. For a flowing well, the produced fluids, before entering the surface flow line, must pass through the smallest restriction in the surface flow equipment, the choke. The choke is used to control the production rate, perhaps to prevent sand production or to maintain the most efficient rate for the well. A choke restricts the area available for flow through a bean or orifice of a specified diameter that must be inserted into the choke body. The smaller the diameter of the bean, the lower the production rate. There are two kinds of chokes, positive chokes with interchangeable beans and adjustable chokes which allow the choke size to be varied more easily. Note that tubing pressure is measured upstream, that is, on the wellhead side of the choke. 